Hey, what's up my friends? This is Craig Howard at Happy Camper RV. I'm at our superstore in Caldwell, Idaho. And today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new floor plan. This is a 2024 Essence by Cruiser. The model is a 28 DB and it's super cool. Let's take a look. You're looking at this for the very first time with me. So we're gonna see all the cool features and surprises together. But this thing, from what I understand, is pretty awesome. Just checked this one in an hour ago, got it washed up. Excited to show this off. I'll post specs down in the comments. I don't even know those off the top of my head. Like I said, brand new model. I've never seen it before. I'm not very familiar. I'm somewhat familiar with Cruiser and Essence and know that they make a really high quality product. I'm sure that's what we're gonna find as we dive into this. I don't know the exact length, but it's a fairly small fifth wheel, so super easy to tow. Let's look at what it's got. Oh, very cool under storage here. You see aluminum construction. It's got solar panel up top. There's a battery disconnect switch. Got control for our awning right here and the LED light. I don't know if you can see that thing flipping on and off. That's very cool. Propane stowed in here. And there should be one just like that on the other side. I like the assist struts there. That's a nice feature. Here in our forward storage, this is perforated and set up. If you wanted to add a generator, you could do that. The cool Vault XL, so all your wiring goes through there. It's a really nice clean unit that they use and you've got a couple of disconnects up top. And it looks like we've got magnetic catches on that. And those feel really robust. No problem at all holding that door open. That's cool. Here's control for our front landing gear right there. Propane just like the other side, pretty simple. And I think we know what to expect right here. This one doesn't have the assists, but it's got a magnetic catch right there. All of our water connections right here. Once you get that connected, this pops out right there and your hoses can go right out the bottom. Keep this door closed, keep it packed up nice. That's very cool. Um, over on the other side, I think you saw there's a coiled up hose that will plug into right there. And then we've got this suburban water heater. Very cool, on demand, I like that. Let me show you underneath here. Rack and pinion slide. Enclosed underbelly. Right there we've got some, I think those are just low point drains. And then of course our black and gray dump right here. Main power connection, this is a 50 amp unit. This is set up for the Lippert on the go ladder system. I don't have one of those handy right here, otherwise we'd go up and check out the roof. Prepped for a backup camera. Oh, cool. Cool storage space back here. You'll see what's on top of that. I think I know from the floor plan pictures but that's a nice space. And we've got an accessory hitch on the back from the factory. That's only rated for 300 pounds. So you're talking a bike rack, cargo rack, something like that. Probably not pulling doubles. 
but you're equipped for your accessories there. And what's in this? I'm guessing some kind of, yeah, I was gonna say outdoor kitchen fridge. Very cool. You could even remove that if you just wanted to use this for storage space. Here's the exhaust for our furnace. Check out those big, nice tires right there. And lots of windows too. All right, should we check out inside? We're gonna do this all in just one take. So it's candid, you see what's going on here. Very cool. Wow, that's a nice bathroom. This is not a big fifth wheel, but that's a very generous bathroom, I would say. Let's turn on our lights up here. Cool closet right there. We'll come back and look in all the cupboards and closets and doors. I like this setup. You can just turn that on if you just want some accent lighting or just a little bit, or if you want to read or need to, need to direct your light a little bit. Good options there. All right, let's dive in a little bit. Got your main control panel right here as you walk in the door. This big switch is kind of a master light switch. And then check this out, this is a new thing right here. So it's a slider right there. Got a dimmer built in. That's awesome. I think everybody's gonna start copying that. Some storage above your couch here. What do you think of this open space in the middle? We're starting to see that more and more. I think people are finding it very practical. And then right here, I think this is a Tri-fold, or kind of a bi-fold, it's a tri, I guess I'd say. Uh, hide a bed. Just pull that. Throw these legs out. That goes down. Now you've got a nice bed if you need some more sleeping space. That's cool, huh? And you can see how easy it is to operate. I'm doing this one-handed while I'm holding my camera on the other side. And we'll put these back cushions back on. And they have Velcro on right there to hold in place really nice. Right here we've got your thermostat up top and then this is the control for the water heater right there. Also got 110 available up above. All right, here to the dinette. Obviously that table will go down and that will make into another sleeping space if you want. There's something cool that Cruiser does. The way that they build these dinettes 
It's just super easy to get in if you want to get to the storage. I love that. Very good design. And we've got a huge Everchill fridge freezer combo right here. That's great. Pull out freezer drawers just like at home. Very nicely done. See that huge TV up above? 110 outlet right there and a whole bunch of storage underneath it. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Very cool. Up here above the kitchen, tons of storage as well. Tons. microwave they did a pretty good job didn't they lots of places to put your stuff big microwave I think that's just a residential microwave that's pretty cool nice range and oven right here cast iron grate I think this is becoming standard. I hope so, because this is so much nicer than the old ones. That cast iron doesn't flex or warp or change as it heats and cools. It's a nice change. And I think we've got our furnace back behind there. Let's see what this is. Ah, that's what I was gonna guess, trash can. Of course, you could do whatever you wanted in there if you didn't want the trash can, but that's cool. And then here underneath the sink. And if you haven't seen already, this thing comes with an incredible sink. So you've got a glass washer right here, soap dispenser. Um, this is the control for it, hot and cold. Pull out. It's got right here, water will um, cascade waterfall over there if you want from this control. This thing is cool. It's like a bar. And then we've got our nice pantry back here behind this door. Just kidding, it's not a pantry. I knew that, but I wanted to make it a surprise. This is a super cool space. So back here behind the kitchen, we've got a bunk set up and they are not skimpy at all. Those are huge bunks. And that storage space that we saw from the outside is right under this bunk. Lots of space in there as well. Wow, this is a cool floor plan. And I think we're open underneath there. Maybe a nice place to tuck your shoes. There's a register for the furnace right there, so you've got heat. The AC's also ducted in here. This is done right. Give you light switches and everything. That is cool, isn't it? What a cool design. All right, let's check out the bath and bedroom. Huge, giant shower there. behind our mirror. And even under the sink. All right, into the bedroom. 
So we've got kind of an open design on this. This is cool though, the way they do this. Isn't that cool? I feel like that space is a lot more practical than some other designs. Got a nice partition here if you want to keep certain things separated. Very good job. Of course, those are open. I like that. And the light, nice touch. Got 110 outlets up there right at the top of the bed. And I'd say fairly generous closets on the side too. This is a dual uh, AC, by the way, I didn't point that out. All set up if you want to add a TV right there. Very easy to do. And this closet, they did a great job on this. Nice bifold door. Gets out of the way really nicely. Prepped for washer and dryer if you wanted to add that. Take one more peek at everything and I will sign off. That's so cool, I love that. And that sink. I wish I was going camping in this thing this weekend. All right, let's peek at the outside one more time. Oh, the sun's trying to peek out. All right, my friends, this has been an Essence 28DB at Happy Camper RV in Idaho. Give us a call today. Our phone number is 208-466-6250. We'd love to answer your questions about this. Maybe you wanna come see it in person. We would be delighted to have you out. Give us a call today. We'll talk to you soon.